the heck is my tread? It's down there somewhere. And that's to the direction we need to go. We are on the trail to visit the habitat of one of the coolest frogs in America, the Pine Barrens tree frog. Of course, we have little obstacles in the way, but that's no problem for us. Let's start with finding the right habitat. Heat index is definitely in the hundreds. It's up there. Right now we're up on a ridge. As you can see, we're in some nice pine lands. It needs to be burned a little more, but they're, they're nice nonetheless. If I look down this way, there's a nice depression and I see a bunch of yellow stuff just on top. Take a look. Take a closer look. This may be just my opinion. However, seepage bogs are one of the most amazing places on the East Coast. And they're the home to a lot of carnivorous plants. All right, so let me explain this one to you. You can see the pitcher plants are right at the hillside and that's where the seepage is coming out. Basically, there's a clay layer under the ground and the water is stopping right there and it's slowly making its way out of the hillside. And that's where the pitcher plants like to be. And where this cool water seeps out of the ground is also the place where the Pine Barrens tree frog likes to lay its eggs. Interesting enough, the range of the Pine Barrens tree frog is split up from Florida to the Carolinas all the way up to New Jersey. And by split up, I mean the range isn't connected. These are disjunct populations. All right, we're going to hit a couple roads and then uh, when night falls, we're going to find some frogs. Hopefully. Pretty sure with some of the rain, there's going to be some frogs calling. Right there? Yeah, Sam. Any wood you have up there? It, they're the Pine Barrens. They're right there on the hill. You found them? I haven't found them, but I hear them. Hey, didn't mean Hello. to find you. Oh, no, you good? Don't <laughs> catch a frog or something? Oh, photographs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, frogs. Oh, okay. But they're uh, they're difficult to find right now. They're hiding pretty well. <laughs> yeah, it ain't rain enough over here. <laughs> yeah. Hey. But hey, it is what it is. <laughs> All right. You guys have a good one. All right. All right. Thanks you for too. Stopping. Thanks. Yeah, it's it's right there. Well, there's the pine barrens. They're normally on trees and bushes. This one is in the ground. I guess it didn't rain enough in this area. Unfortunately, that last spot we found a few, but they were all on the ground. None of them were really calling that much. They're very skittish. That area didn't get much rain, but we are at another spot. This area did get quite a bit of rain and they're calling. You can't hear them too much because there's a road behind me and it has some traffic on it, but the frogs are here. Let's, let's go find some. This location has a seepage right off the hillside, which is adjacent to a road. Climbing up the hill where the seepage emerges is where we find the Pine Barrens tree frog. Now I know my frog calls. However, here in the southeast, 
this is one of the calls that really sticks out to me. Oh yeah. Watch your light. It's a little too bright. Back down the slope, we see two pine barrens in Implexus. Essentially, they're doing the nasty with the froggy embrace. I think I'll end this video here. Hey, if you enjoyed it, give me a like. I'll see y'all next time.